when you are editing your videos you need to use lower third and title right so if you make the titles and lower third every single time when you're editing it will create a lot of time it is better to use some templates so today i'm going to show you how you can make essential graphics template using adobe premiere pro so that you can use your lower third or title template again and again hey guys this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial so without wasting any more times let's get started so here i have opened adobe premiere pro first you need to go to window and from here you have to enable essential graphics this one then this panel will appear there you'll see two different options one is browse and another one is edit right under browse you'll see all of the templates that you have downloaded and you have got with adobe premiere pro pre-built right if you install any new template it will appear here and from the edit section you can able to edit those template so in order to use the template from the essential graphics panel first you need to make a template let's make a simple template so first i will just make a template here um, i'll go to here on our toolbar and from here i'll select type tool click here and just you can write your name which is james prince and i'll change the text i will make it papers bold i will increase the size of my text a bit maybe this much and now you can increase or decrease the text layer duration it will be the duration of your template right so if i play it back uh, maybe it is four or five seconds long right yeah the duration is good enough for my template now if you want to add a background under the text then you have to select the type layer or text layer then go to essential graphics select the text and from here you'll see an option which will called background right just click here to enable the background and then you can select a color that you want to use i will just use a bluish type color maybe this one and then i'll increase the background size and then i will increase the opacity i will make it 100 percent so this is my text layer right now i want to animate the text layer if you want to add another text layer you can just uh, select the text layer and from essential graphics panel you can just click here on this new layer and from here you can add another text which is this one and then you can write whatever you want maybe uh, content here creator and you can just decrease the size a little bit you can disable the background for this layer and you can just click and drag this here and you can change the letter spacing and you can align it just like that right or you can just select the both layer from here and from here you can select align to the selection and from here you can just click this one align right it will align the text with each other right now we are going to animate the text i will just make a folder here and i will just click those two layer and i'll put those two layer under this folder right so this is a group now now i will just make a rectangle from here i'll increase the size and i'll use this rectangle as a mask for the text right i'll just scroll down and in the bottom you'll see mask with shape you have to click this to make this one as a mask and now if i click and drag it here you'll see the text is revealing right that is what i want so the animation will be this rectangle will reveal the text after a certain time and after a certain time it will just hide the text just like that right so to enable the animation you have to place the rectangle just like that and from here you'll see a option called this position right click here on the toggle animation for position and then forward a few frames maybe this much and then click and drag it here to reveal the text you'll see it is revealing the text if i play it back now the text is revealing and after a certain time maybe this much i'll just adjust it and and now it will hide the text just like that right so if i play it back this is our current animation so nothing fancy i want to save this animation this text animation on our essential graphics panel so that i can use it again and again so how can we do that you have to select the text layer and then you have to go to graphics and title this menu 
and under this graphic and title menu you'll see export as motion graphics template right click here then you have to give it a name i'll just give it a name which is gems lower third and then i'll select my library and from here i'll just add some keyword which is gems i'll press enter then lower third and then i'll click ok after clicking ok premiere pro will save it as a motion graphics template right if i go here on the essential graphics then if i go to browse and from here if i select recent you'll see the last one that you have saved is here right so if i delete it and if i want to use it here on my video maybe i want to put it here at the beginning of my video i can just click and drag it here now the animation is already there if i play it back you'll see the text is appearing it will work perfectly and if you want to change the name you can always change it if you just double click here on the text layer or you can just go to here which is this one then you can just change the name whatever you want right so that is the easy process to make essential graphics template using adobe premiere pro if you want to make advanced type essential graphics template then you have to use after effects we are not going to learn that today we'll learn the complex type animation maybe this one which i have made earlier so this is a title animation i'll show you how you can make a title animation on our next class so that is all that is how you can make simple essential graphics template in adobe premiere pro so that you can use it again and again on your video i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye